for the rest of, of this video where I discuss how to acquire a multi-channel image, I'm going to stick with the Hamamatsu flash. So let's just go back to that one. Let me push in the slider physically on the microscope. And uh, when you switch between these, uh, you will have um, that resets the whole multi-dimensional acquisition. So I will set that back to how it was and then restart the video. I've reset uh, all the settings to how they were when we were on the Hamamatsu flash. I'm just going to confirm that things are in focus. Just going to move it slightly. You can see that if you have long exposures, it can be a little bit difficult uh, to find the focus. And when you move in XY, it takes a while to refresh. So it's maybe not the most comfortable way of doing this, but um, that's what we have at the moment. OK. Um, so there we have a sample. What else do we need to uh, pay attention to as we're optimizing our settings? One of the things that we can adjust um, are the binning. So what is the binning? So the, the binning means the following. The camera has sensitive elements on it that correspond to pixels in the image. If the binning is one, uh, this means that the mapping of those sensitive elements on the camera to pixels is one to one. So if I have one sensitive element on the camera, that means I translate it to one pixel. However, if I increase this number, multiple pixels get bunched together, losing resolution, but gaining sensitivity. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to turn off the live and then increase this to four just to make it kind of dramatic. So if I if I now hit snap, what you see is that this is a much chunkier image. The signal to noise is better. And if we were worried about speed, this is a way of speeding up our acquisition. Um, so uh, it's a quick way of losing resolution, but gaining sensitivity. And you can use this on either camera. As far as these, as far as these other buttons go, I would recommend you don't touch them because if you do, you can totally uh, screw up whether the field of view on the Hamamatsu camera is aligned to where the laser is flattest. And I can explain what that means if you're interested individually. However, let me know if uh, you need to go very fast with your imaging and you don't need to image the entire field of view uh, because if that is the case, we can uh, image in small strips of the camera. Uh, and those can go very, very fast. That's a specialized application. If you think you're interested in it, let me know, and I'm happy to discuss how to do it. So let's go back to a binning of one, where we have sort of higher resolution. Set up the other two channels, and uh, actually acquire a data set. So I'm happy with how the Texas Red looks. There we go. Let's look at the Fitzy now. I'll set this to 500 and take a quick snapshot. Um, I will also just increase the laser power on that one. I'm not paying too much attention to exactly what I'm doing here. I just want something reasonable that we can work with. And then the DAPI, uh, let's see what this looks like. Just going to increase the laser power, increase this a little bit the exposure. OK, so there we have sort of reasonable settings that will result in an image.